having acquired the great sword, Vandal Heart, the only power which can resist the flames of judgment. Ash and his friends set off for the city of Shumeria to take their part in the Liberation Army's final assault. At the same time, Dolph, who had been secretly hiding his true ambition for years, saw the chaos after the death of Emperor Hell as his great chance to grasp the reins of power. Welcome to a fool's epitaph, and welcome to chapter 6 at 6 of Vandal Hearts. I am your host, Nate Lust, and welcome back. Now, we're in a new town. We did not jump immediately into combat. Good. What is outside of town? We're in Glasgow City. So, we're in Scotland? And Fort Gareth. Anyway, let's go back. Let's stay in Glasgow City. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not ready to move on to the next plot yet. Anyway, um... So... We got some items. Got... Gold X. Is attack a zero? What? Oh yeah, we sold one of those earlier, didn't we? We got a worm fang. And we have two keys. I think I'm gonna give Ash this key for now. Alright. Well, let's move onward and upward. To the shop! What's here? What can I do for you? And we have the final tier of weapons here. Firstly, do we... Is this bow better than the one Kira has? No, it's worse. Kira keeps the... the... rune bow. Arc staff. Let's give, uh, the arc staves to... Huxley, Zohar, and Elidi. I'll give, uh... I'll hold off on that for a moment. Are death claws better than the things Sarah has? Oh, yes they are. It's worse than Darius' spear. I'm gonna hold off on getting the rest of the weapons. We're gonna improve everyone's armor. First and foremost. Because that's gonna be more relevant to what I'm gonna do next. Oh yeah, Ash has the Vandal Heart now. Let's compare the stats. Wow, the best uh, shop sword is significantly worse than Ash's Vandal Heart. Anyway, enough distractions. Let's give everyone their best helmets. Which is a crown. I'll give Kevlar.
in Mojo Rooms. They're full of mojo. I'm inside the cell here. Oh. Well, finally, all the shows and life orbs are available in the shop. We have some crap in the depot we can sell. Like this great silver steel, uh, steel lens, and this gold ash is pretty useless to us. Let's see who else needs swords. needs a sword. Everyone has the best weapons I can get. Let's exit. Next door of business, we're gonna go to the tavern. Bartender, the umpire's finished. Emperor Hell's death was a final nail in the coffin. No pun intended. Now everyone's rushing to line up on the side of the rebels. Man, the Imperial army has fallen to pieces all over the country, but the Crimson God still strikes fear into the heart of the foes. Old man. Everyone's scream for revolution, but they say that a country always gets the leaders of herbs, don't they? Weird man. Do I know you, stranger? Art thou the hero eternal? Hey, I was mistook. Uh we'll talk to him again later. For now. For now. The reason that you're here, the reason I'm here in this episode, was one, to get that beginning out of the way, and two, to go to the dojo. Because we have the most asinine trial of Taroa to undergo. I call it the most asinine because, well, let's put it this way. I'm actually going to save in the middle of battle for once, and there's a good reason for this, because the Chaos Key is a very big puzzle. We have a bunch of golems. All of which suck. A save. An in battle save. And yeah. Basically, what we have to do is clear out these guys somehow. Probably. Possibly. Get this pushed over to here. Push this down only once, so I can get up top here, push this box down, get both these boxes down over here, so then I can get up here and open this chest. I described it simply, but it is not quite that simple. So, we're gonna begin with a little Destruction. Or not. That could happen too, I guess. Don't mind me. I'm 
going to do this, but note that doing this is normally a terrible idea. But thankfully for us, we can afford to do this. What my game plan is, is to hopefully destroy these guys and spellbind one of the golems down here. Meanwhile, I'm just going to start moving uh, Dolan in this direction here. Because he's not going to be that handy in this battle. Now, I'm going to them here. I'll do that here. Most of the golems down at the bottom, so I don't have to worry that much about them. Yeah, sure, I'll kill these ones here, but those are just more annoying than anything, really. Okay. Now. real power of flight in this battle is to get them into positions that you wouldn't normally be able to get them to get into. Like those guys, I can actually sneak around. Okay, so we'll do this. I think I'll kill those three there. I'll kill these three here. interest of time. Go here. In the interest of time, I'm gonna save and battle save here.
and Spellbind. The reason I did that is if it misses, we can simply reload. No, no, shit, not from the beginning of the map. No, why'd I do that? Load from memory card. Inbound save. I have a feeling that what I'm going to end up doing for this episode is I'm going to be cropping out interruptions like that. And... In case... I decide to give up on this particular portion of it, then I'm just gonna outright kill this golem and show like a... Okay, never mind. Second try. Perfect. Well, I can't move anywhere else. this one to oblivion. We're not quite. Close enough. For some reason, this one gets unparalyzed, I'll just paralyze another one. Although it will be more difficult at that point if it happens that way. Basically everyone that I want to move at this point at least. Sorry, this is boring.
I don't wish to activate the uh, flow of these guys just yet. Actually, you know what? I can do that. I think. Simply because I can move Darius there. You can attack from more than one space up, so it would not benefit them at all to move here. What will benefit me, though, is if I move everything one away from this location. Yeah, we'll do that now. Second stretch. Let's save here. The important thing is I need to get everyone either over here or up top. Otherwise, if this guy becomes unparalyzed, he can actually attack one of us and then kill himself that way. I should soften up these guys with a rolling fire. My guy can dark star him. It probably won't kill him, but he'll soften up her, her uh, Kira to like kill him or something. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Jab and arrow right in the skull of I. Okay, it's everyone. Darius unleashed his floodgate. That's just barely tall enough, tall enough for us to get to it. Now... We're gonna save here. Because this can be very, very easy to screw up. Now,
nobody else is there. Cross over Grog. Move away from the what? From the edge, uh, Amon. I'm view. Just here. That should be it for now. I think we've moved far enough away so that he won't be reaching us immediately. Cross the threshold yet. We need somebody that can clean this up to get up here. How old are you? Old enough, Darius. See, despite the fact that all of their attack and defenses say the same number, the uh, ones that are younger, as in this one, Clay Goldman's down here, are both uh, like earlier versions of this Gold Golem, they're going to be more likely to die very quickly. And now we do this. Phase shift should do. Actually, Salamander will do. Yeah, Salamander. I won't hit the other guy, thankfully. I should be able to hit both those guys up there. gonna happen is that when we get the chance the one will move off of that space there
Don't jump. This guy would take a few turns to get here, so we should have enough time. even use Sarah. Ash and Diego are going to be stuck up there for a while. So... Just a matter of uh, Darius getting the box open and being thankful that we got a whatever that pinwheel thing is called in Mega Man. Yoshini? Ah, whatever. Anyway, we got the Chaos Prism here. Now we kill this thing in fabulous fashion with rocks. Hey, I made you. Uh, you're going to get destroyed. Mostly. This one, I remember back when I played this game a lot more, when I was younger, I would have, I practice on this map a lot, so I guess that's why, well, I only had to save scum once. Well done, you survived the trial. You have returned with one of the prisms which holds the soul of Taroa. You have taken one more step on the path to enlightenment. We'll keep this key for next travel who seeks the true path. Always keep the faith. Okay. Well, we've only gained one more prison. But you know what? It wouldn't hurt to do another, would it? Ash, take this logos key. We are going to save now. Welcome to Chapter 6. And let's go back to the dojo. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the tavern. Let's talk to that weird man again. We know you, stranger. Are thou the hero eternal? Hey, I was mistook. 
You ass. Okay, nothing has changed with that guy. Let's go to the dojo. Again, shall we? Welcome to my dojo. What do you seek? Let's leave. Hold for a moment. Is that one of the holy keys that you have? Those are all to be held only by the chosen one. Do you wish to undergo the trials of Tarawa? Sure, let's transform. May your soul be sent to the spirit world for judgment. Fare thee well. Hmm. What the f- What the is- What the Oh my god. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> it's a lot of salamanders. And guardians. And basilisk. And... A couple of enemies that we've not seen before. At this point. Oh god. Um. Let's save here. Yeah. Uh. I... Hope you enjoyed this episode, and in case you wish to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.